meeting back in order. We have came out, come out of closed session, and uh, we're going to resume with our uh, the business of Wayne County Board of Commissioners. Uh, next thing on the agenda is uh, Board of Commissioners' comments. Mr. Bell. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I think I'll pass due to the length, the time of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pate. Uh, <laughs> well, it has been a long day. I'll be very, very short. I uh, had an opportunity to meet with a farmer the other day, and I won't go into a lot in all the great details of it, who leases um, property from Wayne County. And I um, want to talk to us about how uh, land is leased and farmed through the county and the, express the, the cost and the investment that he's having to make in that property. And was just talking to us about perhaps maybe that process needed to be changed. But we'll go with that in another time, in another day. But I just want to you know, <coughs> let you know there is a concern out there. That's all I've got to say. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. King. I'll save you some time there. Uh, before you, I have put a ticket, and it's a ticket to the USO Flapjack fundraiser at Applebee's this Saturday. Don't say I never gave you anything now. There's a ticket, free breakfast. Take your your bride or your date um, or friend, but uh, the USO Flapjack fundraiser uh, will be February the 22nd at Applebee's Restaurant from 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock. The purpose of this is to raise funds to support the various support activities of the USO here at Seymour Johnson Air Force Base. These uh, this, the USO does not receive funds from the government. Uh, or any of the military branches. It says here that Mr. Uh, Peterson, Alan Peterson, that um, donations, they depend on do donations by individuals and businesses, or in this case, a fundraising project. So um, just wanted to reach out to those uh, this Saturday morning to go by Applebee's and get you a flapjack. I guess they're pancakes, I guess. Applejack is what my grandmother used to call them, but I think these are flapjacks. These are pancakes. So it's a pancake breakfast at Applebee's the 22nd. That is this Saturday, 7 o'clock or 10 o'clock. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Mann. I, I want to take just a, a few sentences. I uh, wanted to, the inclement weather that we've had over the last couple of weeks, the ice and snow, I just wanted to. Uh, commend our uh, emergency services people, our sheriff's department, our fire departments, air, all of our responders for uh, doing a superb job in, in, in keeping our county safe. And uh, I just appreciate what they uh, did during that time. Also, as facilities uh, director uh, for uh, Wayne County, Milford Smith, I want to commend him and his staff, uh, the facilities director. Uh, for their superb job in, in keeping our buildings up and going. He had some he had some frozen pipes and he had some major flooding in one or two instances, but he and his staff were able to keep our buildings going and our parking lots uh, clean to where we could get to work. And uh, I just want to say thank you to these uh, organizations that uh, kept our county in, in very safe and operating during our storm. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, today, uh, I, I feel good about the fact that we, as a board, have committed to build these two new schools. They're, they've been talked about for a dozen years. The, the differences that we have between this board and the school board is the delivery of those. And we need to find a way between the two boards to, to come together to deliver these two schools in a timely manner in a cost-efficient manner, uh, in a manner in which we can afford. That's, that's the key thing. We've got to be able to build the schools that we can afford because we've got other school needs. We've got other building needs. We've got other capital improvement needs. So the story in my mind today was, hey, there were seven items on the capital improvement plan. And this board has already approved the three, and today we approve two more. So let's move together to fast in a fast method to get these two schools on the drawing boards let's select a building uh, a build design team 
uh, uh, that we can live with and that will give us these two schools. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Kamari. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm not going to talk about anything we've done today. I believe all of that stands for itself. I just want to say to the public, uh, please come and join me in Mount Olive uh, Friday evening at 7 p.m. at the Carve Alumni Building. We'll be celebrating uh, a Carve Alumni Banquet, which will feature a speaker that will deal in black history and so forth. Also, we are having a black history parade in Mount Olive on Saturday at 1 p.m. And either a.m. or p.m., I'm going to meet, going to the Human Relations Banquet in Goldsboro, filling in for my chairman, and I've still got to get the exact minutes of that, but I'll be heavily involved in uh, probably too much to eat, but listening to some good uh, conversation about black history this week, so I invite you to come and join with me in my wallet. Thank Mr. you. Martin, uh, that will be Saturday from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. All right. I'm going to be brief. Uh, like Mr. Mayor said, uh, you know, we've had some uh, pretty nasty weather that we normally don't have in eastern North Carolina. Uh, we had to shut operations down uh, for two and a half days on two separate weeks. Uh, we made the decision, you know, we work on a, a lot of our departments work on a four day work week. Uh, the bad weather was in the middle of the week. Uh, we felt like that. Uh, we needed to bring the employees in on Friday. Uh, I wasn't very popular sometimes, but uh, I felt like that the uh, county government had to go on. And most employees felt comfortable with it. I had no no big complaints, but uh, I just want to thank the employees for coming in, the ones that normally off on Friday. I want to thank them for coming in, doing an outstanding job. Like Commissioner Mayo says, uh, our uh, all of our departments, uh, OES, uh, building grounds, landfill, uh, Bob Rupp, I mean, every uh, the staff up here, every department head that, that I had any contact with uh, went above and beyond uh, to get the, the work done. Uh, with that, uh, also tonight, uh, the Wayne County Farmer Association installation of officers that had to be postponed in January because of bad weather will be tonight at 7 o'clock at Lane Tree uh, Country Club. And also, if anyone else wants this ticket, I'm going to be out of town the weekend. I'll be glad to give it to them. And uh, Mr. Camardi, I appreciate you covering for me Saturday. Sunday the 23rd is my, me and my wife's first anniversary, and I'm going to be out of town, and I really appreciate you covering for me. And uh, all right. And, and, with that, I'm going to, that's the end of my comment. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Payton. One little piece of business left to do before we leave today. Um, effective May 2014, I hope that's the right date. I want to make a motion that we swear in as our new interim manager, Mr. George A. Wood, at a salary of uh, thirteen thousand six hundred dollars per month. Time to time to be set later on that day, Monday. Uh, it's the was it salary of thirteen thousand six hundred a month with a vehicle. The six hundred is the vehicle. Verify that for Steve. Thir Thirteen thousand for salary, and six hundred dollars a month for a vehicle, for travel expense. I have a motion on the floor. Any discussion? I do, Mr. King. Mr. Wood uh, is looking for um, some help, maybe uh, finding a place to stay. I know he's he's been out and uh, he. Uh, he, th he thinks very high of Wayne County, and uh, if there's something out there that we can help him with uh, during this interim period, I know that all of our commissioners are in different districts, but if there's someone out there in Wayne County that uh, for rentals or a house or something that he would not have to pay an exorbitant amount of money for, Mr. Pate, it, I don't know if something that your committee or your group, your group has, working group has, Maybe help help him out there. 
Anyone else? Doesn't, the, doesn't Joe have a lot of extra homes? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Anyone else got any comments? I do. I, 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 Mr. Mr. Doherty. I think uh, our board has worked very diligently, and I want to thank the committee that's done the interview process. Uh, you know, I, this this is a good move. We needed to move rapidly, and we've done so. We found a very excellent uh, individual that has the experience and the knowledge to help us, uh, and we. I just wanted to reach out and say thank you for accepting. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Doherty. Anyone else? I just I want to say thank you to Mr. Pate and uh, Mr. Mayo, and Mr. Camardi for serving on that board. Uh, Mr. Keene, I thank you for our annual review to to let Mr. Camardi take your place. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, I think that they've done an outstanding job, and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, for you taking the hands of the ship and and run it for a while. Uh, and any help that you need from any of us and uh, the staff is excited or they will be uh, they were they were they were ready for some leadership and I think you're the man for it and uh, I think that you're going to be well pleased with uh, the way the staff jumps in and, and, and help you take care of uh, running the business of Wayne County thank you no one else have anything? I've got a motion on the floor that we hire Mr. Wood. Uh, everybody in favor, show of sign a right hand. Motion carries unanimous. Welcome aboard. Do I have anybody else got anything? Mr. Um, Chairman, motion. Matt, just a brief word. During some of your discussion before lunch, when the architect that was before you said that nobody had done a design bill school because the law was brand new. I don't want there to be a misunderstanding by the public because you had a local law that allowed you to do design bill and as Commissioner Mayo said, they've been very successful in the one that has been completed, this Peggy Sigas Senior Citizen Center and the uh, library, uh, Steel Memorial Library that is under being constructed now. But that was under a local law. What the architect was talking about was a statewide law. Anyone else have anything? Just a uh, quick note here. Do we need to uh, make any announcement in regards to our event on Monday? Or? I think if you recess this meeting to courtroom number one, if it's available at 9 o'clock on Monday for the purpose of swearing in and any other matters that come before the board, swearing in Mr. Wood. Well, okay, Mr. Uh, Chairman, Mr. Chairman I, I make a motion that we recess our meeting. A, a fine welcome here to Wayne Good. County at 9 o'clock in courtroom number one. Mr. Chairman. Mr. King. Could I um, suggest that we have uh, the Honorable Judge Jones, to uh, Superior Court Judge, to swear him in? If, Judge if he's Jones, available. If um, Judge Jones is available. We're trying to find out where he's going to be Monday right now. Send Thank his you. Call. Thank you. that in form of a motion? I just move, but I'm not going to uh, move because I don't know his availability, but I'm sure staff will have the proper individual there to swear him in. So I just I have want to recess until 9 a.m. on Monday morning at courtroom number one for the purpose of welcoming our new interim county manager. I have a motion on the floor. Any discussion? Not all in favor, show of sign the right hand that we uh, recess. Motion carries unanimously.